This is Van Silk, not in my house. I'm available on YouTube.com, Rumble.com. Come to my channel. I like to put up content that'll help people. Some of us get up every day to do our daily chores, to live our life, daily routines. Some get up and pray. Some are just God-fearing people just trying to make it in your life. The most important thing is to make it back home once you get into the streets. Sad to say that this young lady in Cincinnati, Ohio, named Tempest Epps, lost her life last Sunday. Being in the wrong place at the right time, but I said she was at the right place, was at the wrong time. Drive-by shooting, 37-year-old Tempest was not the target of the shooting. Witnesses said a car drove up at about 6.30 Sunday and opened fire on the crowd. It just so happened that Epps was at her car getting ready to go to the grocery store. In a flash, she was gone. A young woman with a 19-year-old daughter who brought joy to so many people in her neighborhood through her optimism, infectious personality, and exceptional talent in braiding hair. When police arrived, they found Epps hit multiple times by bullets. She was already gone. A whole bunch of her life with me flashed before my eyes, says Rosa Craig Orth, her aunt. I thought, no, this can't be happening. I'm going to wake up. I have to wake up. This is not real. I don't know this young lady, but the Pookies and the Ray Rays need to stop. One of Cincinnati's most staunch activists against gun violence said people need to stop being in the wrong place at the wrong time. What is the wrong what has been in the wrong place at the wrong time? She's going grocery shopping. He don't sound too bright. Drevinson Peterson Mingo showed up at the crime scene where Epps was shot. So he lost countless family members to gun violence, including four brothers. He said we need to tell our children to take responsibility for themselves and stay out of harm's way. Okay, so how could, you know, I cannot, I cannot do this. I cannot, I cannot, you, please people, take this back of what I said about this reverend. He sounds ridiculous. She was then going to her car. That's the right place where her car was. Whoever came over there, it was the wrong time. Here's the news report of this young lady who lost her life senselessly over Drive-by shooting and gun violence. This your brother Van Silk, not in my house, with Van Silk. May Tempest F rest in peace. The name of the woman killed in the drive-by shooting in the West End last night. The coroner's office has now identified her as 37-year-old Tempest Epps. I could feel my friend. I could feel her. Ronisha Horn has known Tempest since they were 14 years old. She came back to the scene of the crime to pay respects and feel the presence of her friend. My baby was a loving person. She was a bad. If you're down, she's going to make your day better. Like she just, her spirit was just everything. Right now, everybody is just stuck at a standstill, lost for words, lost a thought, just we all lost. Once I seen her body and then they were turning it over, taking pictures and all of that, it's like, she's gone. Um, we're doing everything in our efforts to try to locate the shooter. People have got to talk. It's the only way we're going to find perpetrators is people have to talk. They have to tell the police what they know. They can do it anonymously. Oh, bunch of her life with me flash before my eyes like oh no this can't be happening i got i'm gonna wake up i gotta wake up this is not real rosa craig is angry and sad she is tempest's aunt but says she was like a daughter to her 
that I lost a daughter, I lost a child. And no one should ever go through that. No one. And she has a message for whomever took Tempest away from her. God help you. You and those like you. God help you. Because you must be stopped. All of the senseless killing must stop. Rosa Craig, by the way, Tempest on his cousins with Demaya Barton Pickens, the nine-year-old girl who was another innocent victim of another drive-by. That was last week. She was laid to rest today. We'll have more on her in just a couple of minutes. Right now, they're about to do this balloon launch. Tempest Epps' loved ones saying a prayer and goodbye. Jesus' name we ask. Just 24 hours ago, their lives changed in the blink of an eye. And it's still kind of surreal. It really is, you know. Right now, they're just trying to adjust to what it just happened. And so am I really, you know, it's devastating. She was just steps from her home, leaving to get food when her godmother says she was shot before she could even get in the car, something no family should ever have to see. She was with her mother, her daughter, and one of her brothers, but she had left them to go get in the car, and they were right back here. Her car is now a memorial with flowers, candles, and stuffed animals. The number of people who showed up are just a fraction of those who loved her. Epps is remembered as a nurturer who cared deeply for others, well-known and liked in the community. She was happy-go-lovey. She loved life. And she was generous and one of the best hairdressers here in Cincinnati. Yes, he was, and a very good person. They loved her, she was a good person. I know people say that all the time, but she was. Now, they're holding on to memories as they prepare to lay her to rest. One of Cincinnati's most staunch activists against gun violence says people need to stop being in the wrong place at the wrong time. Reverend Peterson Mingo showed up today at the crime scene where Tempest Epps was shot. He has lost countless family members to gun violence, including four brothers. He says we need to tell our children to take responsibility for themselves and stay out of harm's way. Be more cautious as to where they are, of their surroundings, people that they're hanging with.